Hi, this is Megan and with Pro Stitcher, and I'm going to do an edge to edge where we wrap our design. Um, I am using my simulator um, and I will set up the design, save it on a jump drive, and bring it over to my Pro Stitcher. So, the first thing I'm going to do is pull up a design. A lot of designs can be um, wrapped. Um, even if they don't say wrapped, you can try wrapping them and see if it looks good. Um, I'm going to go with a clamshell. It's a very common one. I use a lot of clamshells. Now on this one, the clamshell comes in at four inches wide by two inches high. Normally when I set up any design, I always resize it first. So I'm going to modify, resize. I'm going to lock my aspect ratio and always work with my height. Um, because we are limited by our throat space, we always want to work with the height of a design. And I don't stretch when we do a repeat so that I know what it looks like before I start. So I'm going to go ahead and put three inches. And so right now it is three inches by six inches. Hit my refresh button. Um, I use that a lot. Now we have our vertical and our horizontal resize lines right here. That's what those two are. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is create an area with which to set up my design. And I'm going to hit two corner. And on my machine, this would be at the top left corner of my quilt sandwich. But I'm going to um, just go ahead and um, put in my height and width, say 44. And my height would be 60. And so for right now, it is 44 by 60. I'm going to hit my refresh button. I'm going to go to the repeat page. And I'm going to go ahead and hit fill. I'm not going to hit stretch. I don't hit stretch. I will add more. Now, occasionally you can, but you got to know what you're doing before you do that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wrap. I'm going to go to horizontal and I'm going to change the row to a half. Oopsie. So it's a half. Every other row is half, half offset. Okay. And then I'm not going to have it. sew the edges because I'll, I'll add more. So, and I'll crop it off. So I'm going back to the basics and I'm going to add a repeat on the sides, maybe two just for kicks and giggles and on the vertical. Now, I never want things to touch because that will not bring me joy. Um, it's better to have them a little far apart than to have them sometimes touch a little too much and create a belly button inside each one of these clamshells. So I'm just going to increase the gap. I'm going to turn on my grid and I'm going to look at this. I can move this just a little bit about an eighth to a quarter. On clamshells this size, a quarter is just fine. You'll never notice it. Um, and it gives you enough of a wiggle room in case it's a little closer, you're not gonna notice it either. Hit my refresh button. Turn off my grid, because the grid makes my head hurt. And if everything looks good, I'm gonna hit baseline. I can move my design a little bit. And I look at um, maybe centering, sort of. Um, that looks pretty good. Baseline again, because I moved it. I'm going to hit Modify, Crop, Outside, have it sew the edges. Okay, and that way I don't have starts and stops on both of the sides. Now, when I look at this, my starts and stops are slightly off. I like this. If I had it to where this one ended right here, I would have two ending points at the same spot. And it's very confusing if you are um, uh, restarting at some point. Let's go to the other side. I don't have starts on top of each other. That is great. Um, I always know what row I'm on. I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, this looks fabulous. I'm going to hit baseline. 
file, save, selected. I don't save as workspace for those who have Pro Stitcher Premium. I save as selected. Um, and I'm going to save it in a folder that I chose. So in my design folder, let's go to the, hit that. And I have a folder called my designs. How do I create one? So I'm going to go, it's right now it's in PS designs, continuous line. So I'm going to go up a folder, PS designs. Nope. Let's go up one more and I'm going to hit the plus and I can add a folder called my designs. Um, to create my folder. I'm going to hit cancel since I've already got that. I'm going to hit one of my designs and I'm going to just, um, name it. It's clamshell with an arc. So I can click right here. I'm going to delete those words. It's repeat clamshell. I'm not going to resave it, but I'm going to say, usually I have the date or the quilt. Today is September 5th clamshell with an arc and hit save. And I'm going to hit clear all. Now the reason I do that is twofold. Um, I like to know how my stitch stats are clamshell with an arc and it works better if I close it and then reopen it. And also I'm going to save this HQV on my jump drive. So I'm going to hit the C drive. I click on that and then I can open my F drive and I can save that on my uh, jump drive, which is F on this particular computer. Usually it's D or E. Um, and then I can take that jump drive to my uh, Pro Stitcher tablet. Now to check stitch stats, which is how long it's going to take me, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go here to stitch stats. Now this is a Pro Stitcher premium feature but it's going to be 35,000 stitches. It's going to take 35 minutes plus advancing um, to do the whole quilt. Um, this tells me that I can use one bobbin of bottom line because I know I can get about 50,000 stitches of bottom line. So it's only going to take one bobbin. Yay. Anyway, that is how I uh, set up an edge to edge with wrap.